Russia accuses the United States of escalating the conflict in Ukraine after President Biden promises to send advanced rocket systems to help Ukrainian forces. Russia has accused the United States of adding fuel to the fire by providing Ukraine with advanced rocket systems. The weapons, which have been described as game changers, have a longer range than Russia's. Germany also says it has promised to send a state-of-the-art air defence system to Ukraine capable of defending an entire city against Russian airstrikes. Russia has called the move a provocation. Russian forces are now said to be in control of around 70% of the strategically important city of Severodonetsk. James Waterhouse has the latest from Kyiv. Faces of anxiety. Wives and mothers of Ukrainian soldiers on the front line brought together by frustration of their lack of support. I'm very worried. I know he's sitting in the trenches there. I know they are wounded and killed. I believe that if they receive proper weapons, they're real warriors and they will fight for the sovereignty of Ukraine, defend our country and get our seized territories back. Olga's son was called up to fight two months ago. Today is his 41st birthday. It is his birthday today, but I cannot even congratulate him and tell him that I love him and wait for him. 456 miles to the east, a reflection of Ukraine's loosening grip on the Luhansk region. Satellite images showing damage from shelling to Komoshevaka and Severodonetsk. Russian soldiers now appear to move through its streets and wander into this state security service building. They're thought to be Chechen fighters and have a reputation for being fierce. Almost all of the Luhansk region is in Moscow's control. Russia's gains are relatively small, but the cities they now occupy won't be easily retaken. And that is why Ukraine is asking for help to do more than simply be on the defensive. One wish has been granted by the US. Precision guided missiles which can travel up to 45 miles with a condition. The Ukrainians have given us assurances that uh, they will not use these systems against targets on Russian territory. Uh, there is a strong trust bond between Ukraine and the United States as well as with uh, our allies and partners. The Kremlin has described Kiev's requests for weapons as a provocation to bring the West into this war. Ukraine has long seen them as crucial for its survival. James Waterhouse, BBC News in Kyiv. Well, a bit of breaking news now. In the past few minutes, the chief of staff for Ukraine's president has responded to this weapons announcement uh, by the US, saying simply this, thank you, allies, let's defeat Russia together. Meanwhile, the BBC uh, has heard multiple accounts of torture and kidnap in the Kherson, which has been occupied by Russian troops since the beginning of the invasion.